But what is your but power? But it doesn't, it doesn't really mean what most people think it is. I mean, it's, it's, it's the area of our bodies that's supposed to be closest to God. So, like, even in African culture. If you just tell them that, they'll know. Go ahead. <laughs> We're running here. Keep going. We got you. So no, no, no. I was talking about the audience out here, the listeners. <laughs> I can't wait there for you to right. say that one. Keep saying it. Go ahead. He camera. wants you to say it now for the camera. Keep going. Keep no. no. But see, I want her to wait and let her exactly. get it when she says it. So she won't have to think about what she said. Stop it. Leave her alone. I have to come in and do my job. Now. Every time okay. she says it, then she, 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 she gives us exactly Excuse what me, we sir. need. Right, but, but let her process her thought now no, on the camera. No, because that's what is, problem. is the yeah. problem. That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm trying to process tell you. Let her do so it when she live, right, live for the first time. And then you'll get it on camera and you'll get it live. Hated it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and why is it hot? I don't know. It's hot? Sneak. Steve got the wrong, he hit the wrong lever. Why you hit the white lever? It's the blue one. Hit the blue one for cold. Amazon. Okay, where are we going? This is you, boo. It's 48. I know, I gotta bring you in. Are you no, ready? I'm not ready yet. It's not time to go, is it? Yeah, it's time to go. Oh, Jesus. So, we gotta leave a big cliffhanger on this one. I have to bring you in, boo. I mean, just sing it back here. Yeah. Do you want me to start when he comes when in? When he starts okay. talking here. Alright. Man. Give me a, say something so I can make sure it's... Test, good. test, test. One, two, one, two, check, check, Mike. Go ahead. That looks really low. I just got my hair did. It's your boy, let's do it. I just got my hair did. It's your boy, Chris Bond. You've been listening to I Just Got My Hair Did. We've had a very, very educational moment about natural hair. I did not know that situation with the braid pattern was really significant. All this time, I thought it was just to get a proper sew in and get the leave out part. I don't, you know, just to make they weave tight. <laughs> You are crazy, Chris Vaughn, but really quick, I want to revisit the bald head. So, Melissa, tell me more about these women shaving their head bald. <laughs> um, like I said before, um, it had a lot to do with the marriage aspect. When a young woman marries into a family, that's the first thing she does to show her complete loyalty to her husband and her new family, which is now her mother, her father. That's how they're viewed from that point on. And it's just something that's just not in the African culture. It happens in a lot of other culture, in India and so forth on. They do do that as well. So, All right. So women, listen. I just don't think that it's an established thing, because I know I've been seeing a whole lot of women with one side off and then the other side, you know. Is it some significance to that, uh, Sean? It is, I mean... Are, are the women saying that we half loyal to our man and half <laughs> loyal to something else? Stop it! I'm just saying! Or they may be saying I'm just loyal to myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, let's talk about that. Women are getting a lot of power from going natural. And when they first started doing it, I know a lot of women say, you got to be true to yourself. you got to really feel this thing. So what is the significance of natural hair and power for women? You have to have a confidence with natural hair. You will see that across the gamut. You can tell the difference between a confident woman who is going against or literally bucking society and what the basic traditional definition of beauty was for them to go across that against their family, their friends, their employers. You know, it takes a confidence about yourself to do that. Now the women, now the Bible says that the hair is a woman's crown and glory. Now is, how true is that as far as the Bible goes in now? Hair is our crown and glory. I mean, everything about a woman's vanity, everybody, everything about a woman's security begins and ends with their hair. Now, crown and glory is true. Truest definition has nothing to do with the length or condition of your hair. It's just the area on your body that's closest to God. What you got on that, Lisa? Oh. The closest <laughs> to God. Go ahead. Ready. <laughs> yes. Um, I, as Chantel said, it is the, our closest to God, your, your hair, your, the temple on your head. And if you, like I said, if you're going to take that leap, you have to be 100% sure that that is something that you want to do. Don't do it because it's the trend. Don't do it for your friend. Do it for you. Because you have to like the person who's looking back at you in the mirror at the end of the day. So, like I said, do it for you. 
in Africa, a woman stripping her head basically showed her, she, she was giving up her identity and becoming a new woman on behalf of the man that she was choosing as her husband or the man that chose her as a wife. So it's stripping the vanity, it's stripping who you are, it's stripping your identity and becoming who you need to be for this man. <clears throat> All right, that's good. Yeah. How do we set up for next week? Shh. All right, Nashville. Thank you guys so much, Melissa in Chantel, Nashville. That's it. We have wrapped. I just got my hair did, and you guys can log on to the website 92qnashville.com for more of I just got my hair did tips tips, info, and videos, all brought to you by Nappy Hut Nashville. Stick around. Lots more music coming up right after the break. We are the best mix of R&B. We're 92Q. Record. Go ahead.